We've been talking about an interest that you enjoy, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider, first of all, the social benefits of hobbies. Uh, what are some of the ways that having a hobby is good for a person's social life? Um, I think sometimes um, people need uh, some casual social life that if they have a hobby, actually they could probably, um, for example, connect stamp. They could use this to make new friends um, and could um, share the feeling with them and help them to make new friends. Yeah, I think um, probably in this way it could in increase uh, his social life. Do you think all hobbies are good for a person's social life? Not really. It really depends on what kind of hobbies do you have. For example, some people um, would like to connect um, sports car. Actually, it's not any. Everyone could do it because, as we know, it's very expensive, and and you shouldn't to be too addicted to uh, your hobbies. Yeah. So if a person is addicted to their hobbies, if they spend too much time on on their hobby. Yeah. Does that have negative effects for a person? Yeah, as the example I gave before, um, if he really um, addicted to um, correct and um, sports car, actually I think she uh, he need to um, he probably spend a lot of money into it and time. And um, if that happened, could probably could damage his family as well. Yeah. Most people have some sort of interest or hobby. Why do they feel the need? To, to have that, do you think? Um, I think the most important reason is because in contemporary society, um, we almost feel a lot of pressure, either from work or from study. Mm -hmm. And so we need some um, casual activity to release our pressure. How does it release the pressure, do you think? How, uh, I think people do have hobby because they enjoy it mm -hmm. and doing this kind of activity. So um, it probably could help them to temporarily forget what happened for the day life, uh, sorry, the day work. Yeah, have a, uh, a moment just for yourself. Okay, let's talk about leisure time now. Do people in China have more leisure time or less leisure time compared to the past nowadays, do you think? Mm, I think definitely less. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Because the competition in China is really uh, stressful, and uh, as we know, China um, Chinese people are working very hard, and most they too focusing on on their they fo too focusing on earning money activities, and uh, um, so everybody just presume um, the luxury stuff and uh, spend too much time and uh, uh, resources on that. So I don't think they have enough time um, to have a casual life. Do you think they should have more leisure time? Yeah, definitely, because it's very important for your healthy. And, and also, um, we are not just f um, our life is not just for working. We should enjoy our life as well. What do you think will happen in the future? Do you think that people will have more leisure time in the future or less, even less? Mm, I think it's really depends on um, what what kind of life they have. I think um, probably for young people, they definitely have less leisure time because they have been working hard so they can retire earlier. But for the elderly people, they definitely have more leisure time so uh, they have more um, resources and time to enjoy yeah, their casual life. All right, thanks Tina. That's Thank the you. end of the speaking test. Thank you.